Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I'm here today to talk about sugar. Now, I know sugar is a big topic in terms of our diet, and most of us really love sugar because it's that sweetness, it tastes really good, it's in a lot of things that we love to eat, it's a really indulgent kind of food, and there's a lot of talk about sugar, and there is um, some, some people who are saying that you know, sugar is sugar is sugar, all sugar is the same, um, all sugar is bad, we should be staying away from all types of sugar, it doesn't matter what kind of form it comes in. So I want to get into this topic in just a little bit more detail, just so you can get a better understanding of whether sugar is if all sugar is bad or if there are some sugars that are okay for us to be consuming. Now, in terms of sugar, what I want to start with is something called the glycemic index. Now, what the glycemic index is, is it's the scale that looks at a number of different types of carbohydrate-rich foods. And what it does is it puts it on a scale in terms of how quickly those sugars uh, will elevate our blood sugars. And so it's on this scale from zero to 100. And really, ideally, we want to be 55 or less on that glycemic index scale. So that's considered low. Anything above 55 is considered high glycemic index foods. So just to kind of give you an idea of what's high and what's low, in terms of that glycemic index, things that would be high would be something like high fructose corn syrup is like an 87 on that glycemic index. And white refined sugar, so that processed sugar that's been stripped of all of its nutritional value, is at an 80 on that glycemic index. And then there's foods like white bread, and that's a 75 on that scale. And things like our cola, like our sodas or pop, that falls at 70. So all of these will spike that blood sugar quite rapidly. So then we have molasses, which falls at 55 on that scale. And then pure, real maple syrup falls at 54. An apple on that scale, when we eat an entire apple, I'm not talking about apple juice, an apple is 36. Coconut palm sugar is at a 35. And raw honey, so real honey, is at a 30. And then we have things like stevia, which is actually a zero. What stevia is, is it's a sweet herb. So it has that sweet taste, but it doesn't affect those blood sugars. And then we have foods like spinach, like your fibrous carbohydrates, which also is a zero on that glycemic index. So what you can see is that based on these different foods, they just get metabolized differently in the body and will raise our blood sugars at different rates. So uh, most of our real foods, and even those foods that ha have high sugar contents, don't elevate those sugar, or don't elevate those blood sugars at the same rate as what our white refined sugars would do. Now, a lot of our natural sugars will also have with them, they'll have nutrients and vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and fiber, and this will affect how they get metabolized. So we're not just taking in some of the sugar content, the carbohydrate content, but we're also getting a rich nutritional value in terms of that certain food or sweetener. Now, what I recommend in terms of a healthy diet is that we can consume a limited amount of natural sweeteners in our diet. So those natural sweeteners will be like real maple syrup, raw honey, coconut palm sugar, fruits, just in limited capacities, so, but we can be taking those in because as we take those in, we're also getting 
and we're also getting vitamins, we're getting nutrients, we're getting minerals, we're getting fiber with those sugars. And so they do get metabolized very differently than if we just took in white refined sugars or some of those simple carbohydrates like bread that turn to sugars really rapidly in the body and then elevate those blood sugars and cause all of that insulin surge. So the other thing that um, when we talk about sweeteners, I recommend, I recommend that we stay away from the processed sugars, like the white refined sugars and the high fructose corn syrups, that those are eliminated from our diets because they're definitely processed differently. They spike our blood sugars. They cause a lot of problems in our system. So I also recommend that you stay away from those artificial sweeteners like the aspartame and the sucralose because these artificial sweeteners actually have uh, neurotoxic properties. So they're not helping to improve our health in any way. And even though they have a low glycemic index number, so they don't spike those blood sugars in the same way that white refined sugar would or even a natural sweetener would. They have those neurotoxic properties that can really have a detrimental effect in terms of our health. So I really recommend staying away from any of those artificial sweeteners. But natural sweeteners in small, limited amounts um, I do recommend as part of a healthy diet. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I recommend that you share this with your friends, that you press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.